boy. Also, another film uh, that we saw last week is The Diary of a Teenage Girl. Yeah, so I'm um, obviously Diary of a Teenage Girl is. I mean, it's not. Is it on at the Empire and the big cinemas? No, it's the Tyneside. Just at the Tyneside, obviously. So, if, obviously, if, if you're listening elsewhere, you can go to your local cinema and hopefully find that because this is a really, really little wonderful piece. Uh, we, I mean, there's been obviously a bit of controversy and scandal over the fact that it's got an 18 rating. Yeah, hasn't and, it? and it's a shame that that's kind of dominated the sort of press about the film when really it, it is interesting and it is uh, one of the more refreshing modern takes on the coming of age story as it's now known um, yeah and this whole 18, 15 scandals really just sort of swallowed it up I mean that's the, disappointing the, the director Marielle Heller I hope I haven't said uh, Marielle that's probably the best way to put it, it Marielle Heller is. has said that they, that young women should get fake ID to go and see this because no, she, this was Belle Powley the, um, oh was that Belle Powley I thought it was yeah. the director who said that oh, but um, she has obviously encouraged them to get fake ID to go and see this because she thinks it's important But we don't encourage that we don't encourage we that have no, to, we have to stress that we can't yeah, encourage we, we, that we can't encourage that but you know it, it, this is you can see why she wanted this because this is a very it's a film that will resonate with young women because this is it's a very sensitive very sort of artistic way of, of showing like a thought I mean this is I mean this is autobiographical isn't this uh, yeah it, the it is based on a true story like uh-huh. a true life oh, there you go. I mean, yeah. uh, but the, the, the thing that, that strikes me the most about this film is just how sensitive it is in terms of it, it is there are, it is very weird but it's also sort of I mean I, I don't know if have you got the fantastical vibe from it at all I mean, uh, well, yeah, definitely. Uh-huh. It, it, it's a strange sort of subject yeah. matter. Obviously, mm-hmm. uh, the idea is that Belle Powley plays yeah. this uh, young girl, 15-year-old, and uh-huh. she's just had sex for the first time, and then she suddenly just gets involved with a weird sort of affair with her mother's boyfriend, mm-hmm. and they have a sort of really big affair, and it's all about sort of her confusion of growing up, as it, as you would do. Obviously, that doesn't happen to everybody, but it is still relatable because of the things you take course, away from yeah. it, yeah. Uh, but I mean th- that's the biggest thing this is it's an absolutely fantastic lead performance by Belle Powley as Minnie the main, the main lead woman and it's it, I mean she's only 15 in the film but she's mm-hmm. what 20 23 in 23 real life 23 in real life and she she looks the part because obviously for the majority of this film she is so it's her, it's her experience as um, like sleeping around with her mother played by Kristen Wiig who plays Charlotte who's another great turn she spends time sleeping around with Charlotte's boyfriend played by Alexander Skarsgård and you really see the size difference like yeah. the, the arm he is massive compared to her you, you really believe that as a 15 year old girl sitting next to you know and I think that's why it deserves the 18 I think that it's a bit icky, isn't it? Like yeah, it's it, it's really like unsettling at like certain yeah. points. Like I was I was going through like I was seeing like because I, I did have that fresh in my mind like this is like the Bell Pauli saying that this is a film that teenage girls need to see, and I'm mm-hmm. like, is this really? Do, do I agree with that? Because well, I think th- th- there's plenty of coming of age stories out there. I mean, mm-hmm. you, there's plenty to choose from that are 15 and are available to watch for girls of this age. Mm-hmm. I think this is definitely one of the more ones that sort of will that it, it does resonate and it. Even like you know, even if you aren't a teenage girl like we are, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, really, f- f- just making just hey man, cla- <laughs> just, just, cla- just <laughs> clarifying for any audience members who maybe you couldn't tell. Um, I think this is one of the, one of the more honest ones that you kind of can relate to, and I think it there is an important message here. Perhaps maybe it's something that you can look back on when you are eighteen. That when you've passed this sort of stage in your life, you can look back and go, oh well, you know that makes sense now oh it's well, just, that was really it, cringeworthy it's just an odd it, it, it's, it is sort of difficult to watch at 15 I, I, I kind of do think it should be an 18 uh, particularly because of the age of like the character mm-hmm. and because there's really expressive sex yeah a lot of it, it, yeah, it it's, of it's very detailed and, mm-hmm. it, and and often you know like for a sort of passionate sex scene you'll have music to accompany it a lot of these are you know silent and they're you know, quite cold and oh, yeah. that, that's kind of where Nymphomaniac uh, please don't. You know, she, please she, don't she, I'm just saying, like, she's, she's called an informa- like she's called an informaniac yeah, yeah. during the film, and that's not what she is. She's yeah, just yeah. a confused teenager, mm-hmm. and that the film kind of illustrates the difference, mm-hmm. which is which is a really interesting thing. Uh-huh. I don't know. I, it's, yeah, it, it's difficult because I want yeah. I want 15 year olds to see, but mm-hmm. I also don't think they should yet. You're very right, but um, that's the thing. I was just thinking, like all the way through, is is this as as vital as the as the stars making it out to be? You know, is the, is this going to be as refreshing as as, as we thought it out to be? But as it ended, you know, I was thinking that yes, this is it is a nice breath of fresh air because it is just so well acted and so light and so deft and such. I and mean, you see, Belle Powley, obviously, she is just a young artist living in 1970s New York in San Francisco, and you know, she's just a really expressive character. You know, she's really she stands on her own two feet. She's got her own minds and thoughts, and I think that's what the real important part of it is because you see her 
it in her, a 15-year-old teenage girl who is very much her own independent woman. Mm-hmm. You know, she is. I mean, she's she, incredibly she, smart and funny. Uh-huh. Like her, her mother does not have barely any control over her in the whole no. film. Like she's obviously got because her she's own had life. problems in her life, exactly, yeah. and her own problems. Like she is very much an incredibly independent woman at just 15 year old. And people will see that. Girls will see that and say, well, if, if she can do it, then clearly I can do it. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not saying like I would encourage that lifestyle, which is Absolutely why I was, not. which is why I was thinking about the you know the sketchiness, mm-hmm. but. Essentially, that is exactly what the, the message should be. You know, it is about having your own standards, your own personality, your own ways to choose in life. Even if that is sleeping with older men, but obviously we don't encourage. Like, yeah. But um, you know, the fact that she can have, you know, she can have that choice, and she is a very uh, a creative, talented, expressive young woman. You know, and that's probably the best part of the whole film because obviously it's so well acted by Belle Pauli, and obviously the, the rest of the cast is fantastic, and it is just so. Like I just, I just, love, I just love those um, visual flares, you know, seeing the art come to life, you know, that there's quite a lot of that, and just seeing the different flourishes about that. And really, I just think it's a, it's really a really good movie. It's like, yeah, it is really good. Now, I, w- I would recommend it if you are of legal age to go and see it at the Tyneside mm-hmm. Cinema this week.